Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? What it do? How you doing? I'm here, too. No, he's not. Pay Blue. attention to us. Um, I wanted to make it rhyme again. So, last time on Dragon. this... Nope. Um, we got our ship pushed in by two hags. Is there a difference between hags and witches? Hags are witches. Got it. So, whatever they were, they fucked us up. Real, real bad. So, we took a short rest. Uh, we saw that the little boy Lucian is downstairs, and that makes Rufio very sad and angry. And, yeah. So, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, Shart had some weird stuff happen with an axe. Mm -hmm. And Absidy took a nap mid-battle. Because, you know... When's a better I'm just time? A super chill, relaxed kind of dude. You know, I just, just want people to know that, like, I sometimes, you know, I just don't care. <laughs> Today's episode brought to you by Monster. Okay. Josh String Highball. It's different. Oh, so I'm sorry, it's a white can. We are we are now in the depths of the ye old bone grinder. Uh, and you were on the third floor. There was a little zombie child that came up as you guys barricaded the door. What are we doing? I think we need to go to the fourth floor. That might be where the rest of them are. Mother. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> I don't know. We couldn't kill those. What are we going to do with the, the, the adult? I. What's our other option, Absidy? We don't have one. I mean, the only other thing we could do is just grab the skull and get the fuck out of here. You want to leave a battle? I'm just saying that's the only other option. I didn't say I'm not ready for a fucking fight. We're not doing that. We came here. We're going to finish what we started. We're not weak. Uh... It's up to you guys. I mean, I think we need to go fight. Let's fight. We're going. Fourth floor. We'll go up to the fourth floor. Okay. You go up to the fourth floor, and you've reached the windmill's peak. A dome chamber filled with old machinery. There's not much to this room to move around, and light slips through the attic through small holes in the walls. Uh, as you look through, you just find a few old abandoned bird nests. Nothing more. What happened to Mother? Do we hear anything? You can roll perceptions. Modded 20. Sick, I'm gonna get fucked early. Nine. <laughs> uh, 18, actually. So, Rufio and Shark, you hear the windmill creaking, and then you hear it just stop. Okay. I don't like that. Don't like what? The windmill. It stopped. The, the kids... Is there anything in the room right now? Uh, as you look around, you just see the nests. You don't really see anything. Anything to rummage around in? Not in this room. Okay. So is it implied that the the nest is theirs? No. It just looks like they're regular bird nests, like raven nests. And Is there any sign of like what would have been up here, what, what has been up here? It just looks like it was a very tiny attic. Nothing crazy. Well, that was anticlimactic. Yep. All right, guys, then I guess the back to the other plan is... Uh, I'm going to throw a divine sense. Okay. Anything other than undead? You just feel undead. Okay. Let's get the skull and get out of here. I guess. So, yeah, we'll get the skull and... Or we'll go down to the next floor. Okay. So as you get to the third floor, uh, that was the bedroom, you get to the second floor... What you see is you see the skull, you see the plant gone, you see all the little children gone except for the Lucian child, the Lucian zombie, and he's currently chained and he's just... I need you all to roll perceptions. 14. 18. 8. Absidy, you see sticking out of Lucian's stomach is a very tiny like tag. Like a paper tag. And he's currently sprawled like this. Okay. I'll walk up and... You look at the tag and it says Paladin on it. 
and it looks like it's attached to something inside Lucian. Um, I'll take it out. So, Absidy, you put your hands into this child's carcass as you slowly pull out a very tiny paper box. Do you guys know what this is? It says it's for the paladin. I walk up to Rufio and Mm -hmm. I say, here you go. I think it's for you. Um, before I do, before I open it, Mm -hmm. I'll go up to Lucien Mm -hmm. and I'll look at him. I'm so sorry. We weren't here. And I'll take the great sword and shove it into him. Okay. And slowly he stops moving. And I'll walk back to where they are, and as I'm walking, I'll open up the box. As you open, it says on the the top of the box, it looks like there's writing. It says, Lucian pie. Recipe. One small onion, ten small mushrooms, one foolish little boy who dreams of the sun, and two gold pieces. And you see in the middle of it, a dream pastry. Go ahead and roll a religion check for me. So bad at these. Natural one. (laughs) How many times can I switch dice tonight? (laughs) Natural one. (laughs) That's two. Roll with your left hand. (laughs) But uh, the skull is still in the uh, (laughs) natural one. Two. Two. <laughs> two. The the skull is still in. Uh, it just looks like the plan is gone. The children are gone. Take the skull. Okay. It takes about like a little bit and it takes the two of you without it trying to crumble down. Um, without trying to crumble. Did you get it like a nat 20? It's a nat one. Nat one. You're not doing hot. Uh, <clears throat> as you come down, uh, Dirt is outside with the two children and they're just... It looks like they've calmed down and Irene is with, with Dirt. And he goes, she goes, it looks like you got what you were looking for. Thanks, man. You could say that. I'm sorry for what we saw in there. It's, I'm and, just, I'm just tired. No, we, we will rest. Uh, Derek kind of looks at you, Shart, and he goes, you said he got a deed to a windmill, right? Yeah. Can I see that? He looks at it. And he kind of cartography, he does it in his head. And he goes, oh, shit. This is your windmill. Ah, oh, fuck. I, do, I think you have, uh, I think you have squatters. <sighs> Gotta fix these motherfuckers. Property brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and as you take it, you hear in the back of your head, we did good, but you froze. Shut up. You're weak. You're fucking you're an asshole what i just i gave it back to you <sighs> sorry dirt not you whatever i'm sorry i'm sorry it's okay so uh where are we going next are we going to barovia or are we going to velikai are we going to where are we going well i guess we're taking you back to Casimir. the camp pick up casimir on the way Take the skull back. Go to the temple. Go to the temple. Okay. It takes about an hour and a half to get back to Valakai, the remains of Valakai. You guys discussing anything, talking about anything as you go. I've got a traveling windmill. As you as you look back, it looks like the windmill has not vanished or anything. I'm just so confused. I'm not going to talk about anything. I'm just going to be quiet. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Sullen. Okay. Uh, get back to Valakai. What are we doing? As you carry this giant fucking dragon skull on your backs. Um, this is we're dropping Irina off here. Okay, right? Drop her off at back at, 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 at the camp. 
Casimir's? Casimir. Yeah. yeah. Well, is is there any any like does the Blue Water Inn have a, a tent up or anything? Everything is destroyed. I mean, they have they have a tent, um, but you don't see uh, Irwin anywhere. Are there any any shops that are that are functioning? Not really. Okay, we're down to two potions. Mm. Okay. I'll try and craft some more on our trip. Okay. Yeah, we would still have all the vials, right? Yeah. Okay. I drink the potion and smash the vial. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Another. Uh, so, Irina, as you guys get back to the camp, she goes, I know that we have to wait to get back to Barovia to Ismark, but are you okay? I don't know. It's... It seems like every time, every time I try to fight something, I fall short. I don't mean that as a pun, but it feels like I fall short. She runs her fingers through your hair. She goes, you come back to me. Okay. That's all. I will. Okay. And she kisses you. Uh, this is outside. The huts, you see more of the Duskellas just kind of looking at you as they go back into their huts, and you get to Casimir's. Ready to get on the road again. Oh, we're leaving again now. Did you find what you're looking for? Don't have time for your shit, Casimir. Are you ready to go or not? Yes. More than ready. Then let's go. Can we take a rest before we leave? No. Let's go. Side note, what happened with those kids? Those two kids? Little ones? Five and seven? Um, You brought them back to Valakai, and uh, I'm sorry, I forgot about them. They actually recognize Irina. They uh, they know her as the Burgermaster's daughter, and uh, they ask about his mark Great. on the way, and uh, she's currently watching them as she's under care of the Dusk Elves. You find out okay. their names are uh, Freak, F R E E K and Myrtle. Freak is a little boy, seven, and Myrtle is a little girl by five. And they just want to go back home to their village in Barovia. Um I'm I'm going to go up to Casimir mm. in uh, Elvish. Yeah. I will show him the elixirs that I have. And ask him if he can make anything of this. The the things you found in the... Mm-hmm. The youth, laughter, and mother's milk. Huh. Let's see here. Pulls. Uncorks the yellow one. Cherry. And you see his eyes kind of flash. As he rolls an arcana check, he doesn't have identify. Unfortunately. This seems to be... Looks like it has anti-aging magic to it. Could be nice. Looks at the uh, the second one. Mm. This one I'm not too sure about, which is the laughter one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what I could do with this. And uh, gets the last one. That's mother's milk. And he goes, okay, this one's foul. I don't know if it's just milk that's been put into a vial. I'm sorry, I just, I don't, I don't have the identify skill. It's fine. You might. I know someone who does. What happened up there? Nothing good. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that, honestly. To be honest, we're all kind of beaten up pretty, pretty bad mentally right now. So the sooner we can put some distance between us and Valakai, I, I think the better. Okay, we'll start moving out. I'll get the horses. Yeah. Okay. Gets the horses ready. It takes about like 30 minutes before everything's kind of said and you say your goodbyes to Irina and the two little kids now. Um, any Anything else before you guys leave? Uh, do you have any... Is there anywhere around here that has uh, potions? Uh, unfortunately, we're, we're more warriors. We don't really brew anything. At least they're warriors. Uh, yeah, I don't really think... There's anything else? Uh, I'll uh, again in Elvish. Why are there no women dusk elves? And you see his jaw tense up. My um, my sister. 
uh, is the last or was the last living female dusk elf. Strahd killed them all to eliminate us. He was actually infatuated with my sister. What was your sister's name? Not Tatiana. Came infatuated with her and tried to turn her. And I... Story from another time. But... I'm sorry to hear that, Casimir. Me too. Now maybe we see eye to eye a little bit. I've cooled off a little bit. Yeah, me too. Good. We'll get this done, we'll bring this skull back, and then we at least get I at least get answers. I'll get answers from Strahd himself, don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. So and then you head off for your two week journey. Uh anything that we're doing in particular? Uh brewing potions. Brewing potions. So survival check. See how yeah. many I can make. Go ahead. Please be good, please be good, please be good. What I'm saying too. Does, uh, does this count as a long rest? Like, do we reset yeah. everything? Yeah. yeah. That would be a 13. 13, you're able to make a one. I think I rolled worse than that and made two last time. <laughs> I have to, I don't have a DC for it. Um, It's two weeks. Because last time it was one a week. Is one what a you week. Said. So do another one a week for okay. the next week. So two, two yeah. potions. Okay. And then I'll do my long rest reset. Anything that you're doing in particular? Um... <clears throat> I'm going to be praying to Hor. Okay. Uh, specifically, I obviously still pray to the Raven Queen, yeah. but um, ask him what what should we do about these witches? Uh, go ahead and roll a religion check. Natural one. Switch. <laughs> um, and then you doing anything, Absidy? No. Uh, okay. Just uh, continuing to brood. Since Irina thinks it's cute. <laughs> so, within the week, Absidy, through all of the different watches and whatnot, you still hear in the back of your head, you hear the occasional cackle of those witches. And then, on a certain moon night, they, two of them, the two of them appear to you, as everyone else is sleeping. Okay. <laughs> and they... They don't appear hostile, and it looks like one of them has a box about this big, and the other one has another box maybe about this big. And they kind of come out of the brush very slowly, airy. Hello, small one. Oh, hello. We come bearing gifts for you. I see that. Are those gifts I'm going to like? That depends. How much of that book have you read? I've read enough of it. I've seen the ritual. Now, I know we've made you very cross with us, and we wouldn't want that. Well, I was very serious. The, the blonde one who communicated with you speaks, she goes, I was very serious when I meant we want Strahd gone. Barovia is a very depressing place, and it's no fun. Oh, I'm feeling it. Don't you worry. So we offer a gift. You we are more than happy to help you with the ritual. Tell me more. So, as they... Not here. Not when... Bleh. And it looks at Paladin. <laughs> it looks at Rufio and Dirt. Not while the goody two-shoes are here. Come. And you trek out about 20 minutes into the woods. Deep, thick wood. And you just see more strays of moonlight as it. You see that the the gowns that they're wearing are very see-through and like very airy. And they come in and they sit and they have there seems to be a brush that has a sigil, like a seal on it. And they present you to the middle of it looks like a upside down kind of like star. Please. In the middle. Why? You want to summon him? No? You want to meet him? See if you can harness that power, that knowledge? Forgive me if I don't trust you right off the bat. Of course, of course. Let us show our goodwill. And you see one of them 
open one of the boxes and it looks to be filled of just blood. Where did you get the blood? Mm, best not to ask questions you don't like the answers to. And then the other one pulls and you see a very, obviously a very lone organ of a heart, but it looks like it's still beating. It takes a little bit of restoration to make sure it still beats, but this will be good. So it's the blood, the heart. In the horn, and you see her reach into, like, nothing. And you see her flick her wrist, and you see this ram horn in her hand. And the horn. All that is missing is what is most important to you, little one. Most important to me. You know, a month ago, I would have said, gold. Before that, I would have said, finding my friend. And I want to say, power. But I don't know. And as I say that, I clutch mm. the, the, the locket. Yeah. What power will this give me? Knowledge. The ability to fight off the undead. And I can keep everyone safe? Of course. Of course you can keep them safe. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? This would be the most optimal choice. You both are very crossed with this world, and I think you both will find the good in each other. I reach into my shirt. Mm -hmm. I grab the locket. She holds out the box of blood. <laughs> I give it one final kiss as I place it into the box of blood okay as the other so the other hag she puts the box down with the heart in it while it's still beating as she slowly takes off your armor for you as your chest is exposed you crush the heart into the pulp and the the still beating heart into the box uh as lightly she starts drawing the sigil onto your chest as it slowly starts to take hold uh and the other hag dips the ram horn uh, horn into the blood and hands it to you. You ingest. I need you to make a con save to see if you throw up a pint of blood. <laughs> 16. You stomach it down and you, you need to say the words. Mm -hmm. I am wrong one. <clears throat> I call upon the Prince of Light. I call for his wisdom. I call for his power, so I may make it my own, and by his hand, I am enlightened. Okay. And they both look at you and they say, may his light shine upon you. And with both of their hands, they touch your forehead. And it seems like your body just, your soul just leaves your body as it starts falling. Down and down, and it's just you're in this pitch black as slowly you start hearing the crackling of fire as you hear the wails of the damned and soon you hit this hard stone floor and you look up and everything is just a wall of very low lit fire and as you open your eyes everything is in this dark low light and you see a very large figure that seems to be encapsulated in ice. Um, I guess I walk up to the figure in ice and place my hand on it. As you look, the, the eyes are looking at you. And as you put your hands up, you put your hands together against the ice and the small orb of just fire starts to shoot out as you slowly see this ice melts and this figure, this figure is very, looks like they're chiseled out of wood. 
out of marble. They're perfect. Black, long black curly hair pulled back. These black kind of eyes where the pupils are red. And you just see... <sighs> looks at you. I need you to make a uh, charisma saving throw. 14. You are just enthralled by this person as they look at you and... It looks like it gives them a minute to kind of get up, that it's been a while since they've stood. They're completely nude as they, I need to put that detail in, I don't know why. Uh, and they slowly walk in which each step they get a little bit smaller and smaller as they go to a normal human height. And they're looking around and they look back at you. Talk. I found your book. One of many. This one's mine. I read the ritual. I seek your power. And you see him and he kind of sinks back into where the throne is and why do you seek power? I've spent a lot of time being small being weak being unable to protect the ones that I care about and I will never let that happen again with your help do you know who I am no enlighten me and you see I'm smirking but there's no emotion that comes across this person's face Enlighten. What do you seek? What are you looking for? What... What are you trying to stop? What am I trying to stop? Pain. Mm. It's a world of pain. And I'm tired of feeling it. And I'm tired of being unable to prevent it. And you think I can help with that? I think power opens up certain doors. Doors that I have not been able to open. So you simply kick the door open. Is that it? The idea? You teach me. What do I get out of it? I got you out of this ice. You seem like you haven't moved in a long time. I grow stronger each day. It was only a matter of time before the ice melted. Well, Who is your enemy? Strahd. Hmm. I haven't heard of them. He's a bad guy. Aren't we all? What do you want? My kingdom back. Your kingdom? What is your kingdom? Lost. Not mine anymore. This Strahd, where did they get their power from? Do I know that? Uh, you read the tome and it said the dark powers. I don't know exactly, but I know that they're dark powers. I know that he's been alive a long, long time. Hmm. There's only one person that can stop death. And that's death. So this person made a pact with death. Sounds like it. And they stand back up. This is interesting. Death came to my aid during the war. 
Death and their siblings. Death has siblings. <sighs> yes. This is interesting to me. If we make this deal, I can look into your mind and see through your eyes. Now, what I want, I don't know yet. I will collect for a favor at a later date or suffer the consequences. You say no. It's either material, it's material and your soul. You finish my task. You keep your soul intact. Fair? To save the one you love. Sounds like you know more than you let on. Hmm. This favor. Any hints? Now, if I gave you a hint, you might say no. I think I'm past the point of saying no. So, and you see, pull out the scroll, undoes it, and it's blank. And you see right next to it, there's a line. Snap, and there's a dagger. Must be signed in blood. This blank piece of paper? Contract. Do I get a copy? Yes, you get a copy. Oh, good. I know all about contracts. All right, how do we do this? Takes your hands and slit. And as you put your hand over it, takes your hand and ice cold hands. As you see this tiny sliver of blood just drop and your signature suddenly on the bottom of the page. As it rolls up, hands it to you. Anything you want to know before you leave? Who are you? Looks at you. I am the Morning Star. I am the first of the fallen. I go by many names, but I go by Lucifer. Touches your skull, and you are back into the pentagram. Here is your copy. If you want to sign that bottom, you may. All right. You went full, like, office max on this one. <laughs> Uh, let me get a let me get a pen. It's red. Oh, you have one. Cause it's blood. Get it? I gotta figure out Absidy signature. <clears throat> now, with this, you you technically are at level seven. You have your pact. With it, you get including to your regular cantrips. You get the uh, spell chromatic orb. The only thing you can do is fire and necro damage. As opposed to with it, you can do many different kinds of elemental damage. You can only do fire and necro. And uh, any charisma checks on good aligned characters, you're going to have a negative 2 2. But you have a plus 2 to any intimidation or and a plus 2 to any charisma checks to any evil characters. Any fear, fear spells adds an additional plus 2 to your DC. Of any kind of like, if you try to frighten someone or anything, you have a plus 2 to it. Okay. Uh, and you're slightly shifted now from chaotic good. You're on the cusp of true. Ne you're at true neutral. Cool. Uh, doing anything for the rest of the night? As you come back, you see the sigil of Lucifer on your chest as it slowly goes into your chest. And you hear in the back of your head, watching. Um. I think I'll just look over the contract, kind of internalize the decision I just made. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Next week, uh, what are we, 
<laughs> what are we doing, guys? <clears throat> I want to make more potions, but I know I can't. Okay. Pat? <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you, is there any visible change for the next week as you are now a child of Lucifer? <laughs> Mike's like, Ugh. Well, no, I didn't see that coming. I was like, oh, Abaddon. <laughs> Abaddon's another name for Lucifer. I didn't I know that. It. I'm learning. I googled it. <laughs> That's what I think. The either it's Jewish or it's uh, Islamic. They call him Abaddon. Uh, is there any change in you for the week? Um, I would say that I. It's like a dark piece. Like what needed to happen finally happened, but I know that I've shifted. <laughs> Uh, can I roll a perception on that at, like, aggressive disadvantage? <laughs> you can roll just regular perception, you're fine. You know what? No. Uh, do perce- yeah, do perception first. Natural 20. <laughs> okay, you see that there is something up with him? What do you want to do? Uh, is there anything I notice about him that, that is different like is there is he walking a different way is he like is there uh i don't like city seems content for the first time in a really long time okay um just so you can have a point of reference yeah i uh i'll just be he seems content but like yeah Uh, no i i think i would just be like Good. I'm glad that he's found peace. Okay. Okay. Uh, And slowly but surely, you get back to Argon Vostholt. And what are we doing? Uh, First things first, go in the tomb, put the head back. Okay. So let me get to. Don't want to stop and see Gray on the way? No, we're probably going to have to beat the shit out of Gray. Fuck you, Gray. (laughs) Okay. So you get to back to the mausoleum. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. It yeah, would be the black and red die that I got a natural twenty on to see if you were. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. The noted that so was my die. You guys take your moment, and Casimir's uh, like, sorry. I, I still get very weird vibes from that place, so if it's you don't a, mind... It's a weird place. Keep my distance here. That fair? Very. I'll stay with the horses. Honest. Not gonna go anywhere. I believe you, Casimir. Okay, so you go in with the skull. You do have to go through the the temple to get to the mausoleum. Right. You go in, it's more of that creaking, and you you get to the, the table, and Gray's body is still there, and it's still those black and red. Oh, we're back. Hello. How's everything going? Oh, distraught, distraught. What are you going to do, Gray? Oh, I can just slip out of these chains, and then I can give all of you a hug. How does that sound? Go for it, big boy. Do it. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> What's interesting? I don't know. Meet any interesting people lately? <laughs> yeah. Couple of witches. Hmm. Couple of witches. No. No, there's something else here. Hmm. It's more fun if you don't know. Are you talking about the Dusk Elf that's outside? The Dusk Elf? Yeah. No. No, they're always with us. Well, one of you. Look, we don't have time for this. Let's put the let's put the head back. Gray will turn back to his normal self. Put the head back for the whole blah 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 blah. I take one of my mm-hmm. the ball bearings, I chuck it at his head again. Pink. Oh no. So hurtful. Oh. Ooh. You've had thoughts, huh? I've had thoughts about putting this head back. Yeah. 
Great. So we're going to go do that now. Good. Good. Go do it. Slip out of those chains. Okay. Do it. And with that, you hear... Ah, shit. And you see the chains go... (sighs) Why did he just sit there the whole time? And he pops, and he's sitting on the altar, and he goes, How would that be funny? (laughs) (laughs) Fucking prick. You know, you're an asshole, but I missed you. You're still the same asshole. Yeah. Just can't... Bef- but all of you, no, all of you are different. How are we different, Gray? <sighs> you know what? Actually, I lied. You're the only one who's the same. It's all my fault, I guess. Sorry. I guess. I mean, if you're going to try to put guilt on that. Before we do this, do you mind if we can... But we just I don't want to carry around this jaw anymore. It's heavy. I just want to go put it back. Mm. Go ahead, put it back. It doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter, Gray? What's it going to do? Hopefully good things. <sighs> and I will be here when it doesn't. Great. And you see him kind of cross his legs as he sits there, and he's like, Bye, heroes. Sole gets in the dragon mausoleum. You still see the fucking handprint, the fist print that you put in, mm-hmm. Shark. And, uh... You still you see the tomb of Argon Muscle. Is the lid still? Yep, still skewed. All right, Shart. Let's put this head back. Let's do it. Do I have to do a strength? Yeah, do a strength check. Ooh, a natural one. <laughs> Ooh. You immediately just... Poof, you smack it, and the, uh, the jawbone cracks in half. I was moving the, oh, the top the, of it, though. No, the top's, no, the top's open. Uh, open. Yeah. I thought you. I thought you said it was skewed and needed to be pulled. It's like skewed open. It's still open. Yeah. Oh. So you crack the jaw. We get it all the way here, <laughs> and then you break it five feet. <laughs> five feet away. I, not like I meant to. Let him talk to you that way. Sh- shut up. What? Don't talk to me like that. You broke that it. Was, that wasn't. Oh a my you. god! Can we please just put the fucking head back? I'll do it. You're gonna do it. I don't. Yeah, sure. Shard can't do it. You can do it. Go okay. ahead and roll a strength. See if you can do it. Five. <laughs> and you're like, and it cracks a little bit more. Oh my god. And then you hear. A, and Gray is just by the doorway. I heard you bickering like old wives. <laughs> you cracked the jawbone. I'm gonna crack your jawbone. No, you can try, little one. What's your roll? Oh, I was, I was just messing around. Oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll take a turn. Oh, I can't bear to watch this. Pops out. Twelve. Slowly but surely. <laughs> <laughs> Christ oh, almighty. Christ. You are able to <clears throat> put the jawbone in. It's pretty banged up. And then you put the top skull in. Anything happen? Shart, let, let's close the let's close the, the lid. Okay. If you want to roll at advantage because Rufio is helping you, you may. It's a modded 20. Modded 20. Modded 20. So you're able to slowly, you hear the creaking of the, the stone on top as it seals. And it looks like it just closes up as suddenly the room is just bursting with fucking bright light. As you see the fucking image of a great silver dragon of Argon Bostholtz. And he looks at all of you and he looks up to the tower and you see him pass through. And as you go outside, you see this giant beacon of light that goes all the way through to the top of the sky. Past, it looks like it's ripping it apart. Past all the fog, all the clouds. And it's this giant massive beacon of hope. And as you see inside of the Argon Vosthold, you see different flashes of light going off and you see one... And the uh, Lethander's church. Uh, go back. I guess we'll go back through. I th- I think that did something. Didn't yeah. not do something. So. We'll so. go back and check on Gray. As you go in, you see the tiefling that held Gray's body still. Dead behind the eyes. You can roll. 
investigations, perceptions. You can see oh, any kind of status. I choose perception because which one? I'm giving you all three choices. You can do investigation if you're looking for something in particular to see if like maybe you can see where his soul went or perception. See where or, or what was the other perception one? investigation or what was the third one? I, you did it, Mike. Or medicine. Stealth. Medicine. <laughs> well, I did got a 22 on perception. 22? Um, 13. Modded 18 perception. What did you get? 13. 13. You see it still, and you <laughs> kind of just lose interest in it. You're like, okay, it's Gray's body. He's going to come back in another body. And while you're looking at the body, you see it kind of poke and prod as the chest starts shaking. And all the four of you kind of like step back and you see this bright light just slowly start to arc from its chest as it splays open. And at slowly but surely, a very bright, uh, what I can only describe as a person made out of light, comes out of the body of this tiefling. And slowly it starts becoming more corporeal you start seeing the skin and you see this very young man with black hair looks like short kind of choppy you see just these green eyes and you see they seem about 35 40 years old as they're completely stark naked and they look at you and they breathe for the first time gray yeah yeah, no. Sorry. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh, I can smell that. Oh, what is that? That's you. Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> and he kind of feels his chest. And he goes, no, 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 come here, come here. And he grabs your hand and he puts your heart, your hand to his chest and you feel a heart racing. Feel this, feel this. And he takes your hand and he puts it to your his chest. Do you feel that? My, and he grabs you. I'm, I'm alive. Am I alive? Yeah. You. Am I, yeah. Am I alive? Oh, yeah. I, and you <laughs> see, sure. like, he starts crying and he's like, fuck. Oh my. I'm a. Is, what, do I, what do I look like? What do I. I don't, I don't remember. What, what, am I handsome? Pretty handsome. Yeah, you're all right. You're pretty handsome. I'm not, but I would. <laughs> 20 gold pieces is 20 gold pieces. <laughs> Holy shit. Can I have pants, please? I don't know. I don't know your house. Uh, this isn't... What? <laughs> oh, do we have common cl commoner clothes yeah, left over like from... Commoner yeah, clothes. I'll just give them... The you can have clothes. mine. <laughs> They're like little booty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my... Holy shit. Holy shit. I just... I, I need a moment. Gray, what the fuck is going on? I have no idea. This has never happened before. So I've, every time you've come back before, you've been dead. I've been dead. I've been I've been moving you, through time. And are you not a revenant right now? I don't I don't know. I don't. I really I don't. I have no idea. It's been so long since I've even been alive that I don't. Is this what I was like? Is this who I was? I don't know, but it's still kind of annoying. I I really don't give a fuck right now. I can <laughs> I can I can I'm breathing and the air just. Even Barovian fucking air, it just tastes great. Being yep. dead for like 400 years. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> What's the seal of Lathander doing? Anything? Not doing anything. I think we gotta go upstairs. I, I will, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm parked right here. I'm not going anywhere. Don't fucking move, Greg. Holy shit, holy shit. We gotta go see Vladimir. And Godfrey. Yeah. Have him uphold his end of the bargain. So we'll go. Okay. Up. As you go up, it's kind of more of the same, only where Gray was alive, you see these husks of revenants, and you see their chests kind of splayed open. And as you go up, you go to Vladimir's room, and just in time to see his chest burst open, and you see his essence shoot up into the beacon as his body drops. Can I... I want to see his longsword. What what kind of shape is that in? It's in good shape. I'm going to take it. Okay. You take it. Yeah. It's cool. 
Wait, so we went all the way back. We got the skull and they're just gone? For now. Remember when Gray said that any time he was needed, he was sent to that time? It, this might be one of those things. These people are at rest, Ab City. That's a good thing. We did good. We did. But they made a deal. They haven't broken the deal yet. Okay. You're you're right. No, you're right. Emotions are just a little high. It's been a weird month. <laughs> Cause of like the witches and stuff? The witches, the travel. Saw Irina. Made out a little bit. It was nice. You didn't make out. We were with you guys the whole time. Oh no, you weren't. Gross. I'm a rogue, remember? Slipped her to the I've got fast hands. As you're talking, you hear footsteps. Probably not see, the only thing that's fast. You see Godfrey come out and his eyes are blue. Well, this is wow. different. Hmm. This is interesting. I, I see that beacon and I see hope. You guys really did it. You brought it back. Yeah, barely. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm gonna take this. Is that cool? Well, I'm not more, more. Basically, I'm not a sword caster. I'm more of a spell slinger. So, just carry it with honor, as my beloved did. Of course. So, where are you off to now, adventurers? The Amber Temple, or we're gonna have one pissed off dusk elf. <laughs> Argenvost told used to guard that temple. It's quite treacherous. You best be careful for that. Any, uh... Tips? Tricks? Tricks. <laughs> Cheat Advice. codes? Easy. Don't die? Oh, that's a good... I, I was planning to die. Thanks, Thanks Godfrey. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, appreciate it, Godfrey. I'm sorry. It's... I've never set foot in there. Do you have anything for our travels? Perhaps a potion? Or twelve? Didn't really need the... The use of those, I'm sorry. I can try to muster something while you guys are away. That At least I can do. That'd be very helpful. Thank you. Is there anything else around here that you know of that'll help us? Anything in the castle that could be of use? Well, as long as that beacon shines, definitely a good thing all of Ravenloft can see that. All of Barovia. Bet your damn ass that Strahd can see that. No, fuck. No, not a bad thing. While that goes up, he can't come here. Never mind. Less fuck. Now like, aw, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. It's a sign of hope. And when you when the time has come to storm the castle of Ravenloft, you will have Godfrey by your side for what it's worth. What's it worth, Godfrey? I will fight until my last breath, figuratively. Let's fucking do it. Hmm. I will be here and I will be ready. We appreciate that. <sighs> well, now that I don't have a seething hatred in the pit of my heart, I think I might actually rest a little bit. Revenants don't have to sleep, but God, it would feel good to do that. <laughs> Go enjoy a nap. You come back here and... You're always welcome here. And if you're ever in the market for a new mattress, I got you. I will keep that in mind. Mine is mostly sunken in and rotting from the water that was in there, the rain cloud. I will do that for you. <laughs> Thank what you. a gentleman. Thank you, Rhapsody. Anytime. Well, just this one time. <laughs> the no, first one. Trying to free. run a business here. <clears throat> And he just he just smirks, and he goes off into his room. We'll start walking downstairs, see if Gray is in any kind of condition to. Do Holy anything. shit! Hey, he's he's still in the church, and he's just kind of like, huh? Can you? Yeah, we get it. You have skin. Come on. Well, what's? It's a fucking great, man. Okay. Yeah, we did that. You should be blowing one of us or something. I think. Uh, mm. Shart, blow shart. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And he he just kind of fixates on you oh it was funny before all of this what that 
and he looks at you. He gestures at your axe. Keep me safe. What? What was funny? Hmm. It's talking to you, isn't it? How what? long has he had that? Um, a About month. Three, three weeks. Yeah. About a month. About, About a month. That's not good. Do you know what that is? Uh, an axe that makes Shart freak out sometimes. And no, no, drinks no, no. Blood. <sighs> kind of. Do you have you thought of anyone else who maybe drinks blood? And he kind of walks up closer to it, and you hear, "Keep me safe." <clears throat> Can I, I'm, and he kind of just reaches out for it, mm -hmm. and I need you to make a wisdom save. Ouch. What happened? Natural one? Yes, Natural was. one. <laughs> and as he reaches out, this blind fury, as you grab his hand and you start crunching, and he's like, Shart, Shart, what are you doing? Stop. It's not him. It's not him. It's fine. Just, you have to help me restrain him. I'm going gonna, gonna to cast hold person. Okay. Uh, make your, what is it, a con save? It is a wisdom save of 15. <sighs> 14. As you freeze <laughs> up. Okay. Reveal, can you get my hand out of this thing? God. It's like a fucking bear trap. Damn it. And I'll try and wrestle his hand out. We'll do a strength. We only have a minute. Do a, a strength adva uh, at advantage. Uh, 12. Kinked. 12. Okay. It takes a little bit, maybe about like 15 seconds, and he's able to take it off. And he grabs the, the axe off of you, and you hear in your head, you, f you idiot. And he flashes and he goes Shard, I'm sorry, but I gotta get rid of this for you. <clears throat> it's okay. No, it's not. He's been manipulating you this whole fucking time. Don't you get that? No. Get rid of it. And you see his eyes flash. And uh, Shart, I need you to make one wisdom save throw at disadvantage. Five. It's not bad, actually. Well, no, because the first one was a modded 20. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> Your eyes flash over. You guys just see Shark kind of slink as slowly his knees crash, and then he hits straight to the ground. You are in a very dark room, and you, sm you hear lightning crash, and you hear water as it slams against the stone wall. And slowly the light comes in view and you're on the floor of this massive dungeon. And you see chained to one of the walls is Vin. And as you get up, slowly enter Strahd. And he goes, you fucking idiot. All you had to do was just hold onto the ax and keep it safe. And you couldn't even do that right. Well, you know what I have to do now? I have to punish you. Like the whelp that you are. Yes, you, Shark, green one. What, why? What, is, what did the axe have to do with anything? It was to unlock your potential of how great you could be, and you resisted at every fucking chance. My brothers told me that I wouldn't be part of the pack if I held it. I had to find a way. Your brothers, it's always coming back to what? This? This yeah. thing? That's my brother. What? And he what? He listens. And he's not a fucking thing. Sorry, mutt. Oh, fuck you. And he walks over to Vin. And he goes, and he's what? Listening, always listening, ever vigilant, waiting for his brother to come back. That right? Yeah. Well, what if he didn't hear anymore? And you see him rip. <laughs> and Vin just howls as he rips off the ear. Mm. Throws it. You see it land in front of your feet. Mm. Don't piss me off again or I take another ear. You fucking bastard. Mm. 
grow tired of this. And slowly, you're on the cold ground, a spittle. And Gray's looking down at you, and he goes, "It's we gotta we gotta help him up." Okay. Help him. <clears throat> I'm sorry, man. Are you feeling? Are you okay? Are you feeling better? I'm not in a good place right now, but thank you. Of course. What was, what was all that? that was, I don't understand what just happened. The thing was fucking cursed, man. Look at all the fucking runes on it. It's it's got Strahd written all over it. Uh, can I look at it? I I I'm you can investigate never actually, it. Like yeah, you can like you both can like everyone can investigate it if you want. Yes. And as you come back to you Shark. You giving it back to me now? Yep, it you was wrote, a natural one. <laughs> as, you, as you come back to Shart, you think of every single thing it's done and it's manipulation and just poisoning your brain. It literally severed you from your pack. And as you look at it, you see... What'd you get? 17. You see the, the rubies in it, and when they... They always have kind of like this luster to them. It looks like they dimmed. And now the, the axe is now just an axe. So no no abilities whatsoever? Nope. It's just a regular great axe. You might be able to pawn it. We should definitely pawn it. I'm a pawn that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just I couldn't do it before. I wasn't I wasn't strong enough, but I would have done it sooner if I could. Thank you. And I'm sorry about everything. I didn't know what was happening and it was dividing us I'm sorry it's not your fault when I went unconscious I mean it's kind of his fault don't attune to shit you don't know what it is okay well not the time for that now (laughs) when I went unconscious just now Strahd was there I was in a dungeon and so was Vin He told me that I was trying to unlock... He was trying to unlock my potential and show me how great I could be. And that voice was whispering in my head and it was the axe. And then since he said that I failed him... He ripped off one of Vin's ears and threw it at me. So now he can't hear me anymore. I want to burn that motherfucker to the ground. We will. And you'll have the chance to rip off one of his ears. I hope Vin's hungry. Well, shit. So, where are you off to now, boys? Amber Temple. How far off is it to the Amber Temple? Like two weeks, right? Is it that long still? Okay. It's about two weeks. Looks outside, it's dark. You guys are more than welcome to stay in here if you want for the night. I mean, it's not haunted anymore. I, I think that's a, a good idea. So, Let's go grab Casimir, see if he wants comfortable. Yeah, if you guys want to go out, uh, absolutely, really quick. Just real quick. Yeah, sure. So, as you go out, Gray kind of looks at you and he goes, What are you doing, man? What do you mean? Go into the Amber Temple. Don't do that. Come on. I'm going to the Amber Temple. No, you you smell like. Not good, man. It's been a while since I had a chance to shower, bathe. Dude, I'm the king of sarcasm. Come on. What are you doing? What are you talking about? This. This fucking aura. It's bad juju, man. God. I'm doing what I need to do. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm doing what I need to do. You keep telling yourself that. I'm going to go get Casimir. It's a good idea. I take a ball bearing again. Mm-hmm. I don't chuck it at him. Mm-hmm. I just like lob it. Lob it. Catches it. It's going to be fine. I don't know if you know who you made a deal with as he kind of goes off and he starts organizing everything. 
You do manage to convince Casimir to go into the fucking creepy castle. He's super hesitant about it, but <laughs> once he meets Grey and he meets Godfrey, he he stays at the very foot of the door, and he puts a bedroll out, and he's like, I'm going to stay here. This is where I'm sleeping. Okay, just don't go in uh, that door over there. Why? What's in that door? Spiders. You probably shouldn't tell. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for telling me. We killed... One. And you see him, and he puts up that stone wall. <laughs> <laughs> really? I can climb that. Did Yeah. Did, did we they kill can. one? I don't even remember Shh, killing just one. Just let it Just let it go. There was so many. <laughs> just I don't let it go. It's like, didn't we? No, we didn't kill one. We didn't like kill one. We, like, no, I don't one. think we killed oh one. God, you guys are the worst. <laughs> but we got the treasure. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> and as you all go down for a sleep, sharp, you are back into the forest. Mm-hmm. And that smell of decay is gone, and you're back into... Thank God. You're back in your forest, and Paul slowly stalks up to you. Puts his head in your lap. Hey, bud. <sighs> it's good to have you back, Greenwell. You were gone for a while. <sighs> it's good to be back. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. That wasn't you. I know. I just... I gotta get Vin back, and... I didn't know I could have a moment of weakness like that. It's not your fault, just... What if we gave you strength? I would love it. I need your strength. That axe you carry. The one you named after me. Yeah. You carry the... The strength of the pack behind you when you have it. And we'll guide others with you. Your pack, your new one. Okay. Thank you. Of course. I miss you, little brother. I'll always miss you. And with that... A family. <laughs> with that, we'll close out tonight. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do you it? You are officially level seven. So yeah! Woo! Do we want to roll hit points before oh, we yeah. do this? We just because of the fact that it's going to be a while? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair. Oh, yeah. Fair. <laughs> I don't know which dice is going to be the best one. Pat's giving us shit dice all around. I'm going to roll all of them, see which one's the best, and then probably... Roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. Come on! Oh, I'll take that one. That was a good roll. What is it for hit die? It's, uh... I think for you it's a ten. No, for me it's an eight, because I'm a warlock now. But it's... There's there's another modifier, right? Oh, it doesn't matter Plus your... Yeah, no, Your proficiency? I thought... Yeah, it's your proficiency. Yeah, it adds it. I rolled a seven. Oh, it's plus your proficiency? I believe so, yeah. Dope. Yeah, but it does it automatically here. Remember, we don't, it's because it's the box checky thing. If you if you do that, if you just set it normally, we'll yeah, do yeah, it Yeah, yeah, we'll do it off but, camera. But. but yeah, I rolled a seven, so I'm going to go up to at least a 61. Oh, shit. Nice. Would you get a 12? 12. Nice. Yeah, I got to say it out loud. They can't Sorry. see it on camera. I got excited. Like, I did good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good rolling like shit all fucking night. I don't want to hear it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> No, I st- actually, I was rolling well until I let you borrow a dice. And then, <laughs> and then jinxed it. Yeah, but you needed to fail some of that stuff. You're not wrong. <laughs> Level 7 Barbarian. You're a 5-2 Palalock. And you are officially a Roguelock. Warladin. Woo! I also got a 7, by the way. Nice. So. I didn't roll dirt yet. Uh, it's, it's not important. It'll be whatever. Yeah. He's so, not real. Fuck dirt. Yeah. Fear. What? I called him Fear way more this time. You did, and I appreciate that. Yeah. And I'm sure he does, too. Yeah. Well, that's all we got for this uh, episode. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys, and uh, have a good night. This was one of my favorite episodes. <sighs> good night. wild all around. So long. Farewell. Avida Sane. To you, my friend. friend. <laughs> so- <laughs> Goodbye Bye. for now. Until we meet again. I said so long.